friends welcome to kk java tutorials in this video tutorial i am going to talk about very important concept of, of oracle select distinct statement yeah so first of all we'll understand the concept and we'll uh, explore through an example so here uh, the distinct clause is used in the select statement to filter duplicate rows in the result set it ensures that the rows returned are unique for the column or columns as specified in the select clause so basically distinct uh, basically keyword we use uh, with the select statement to filter out the duplicate rows and that can be applied on the single or multiple columns that's the overall concept now, now let's go to the oracle developer or uh, uh, sql developer and there I, i'm going to explain explore you uh, this concept through an example let's say i'm taking uh, for this demo emp table if you look into the emp table right then you have a 14 records and if you look at the job then every employee has certain job right now if i go and write a query select job from emp yeah and if i run sorry if i run this query then you'll see uh, there are 14 rows right right so there are total 14 rows available in emp table if uh, you notice here the query uh, returns all the jobs in the emp table here some of the jobs have been displayed more than once or they are duplicate to eliminate the duplicate rows we can use a distinct clause in the select uh, select uh, query all right so here before the job if you apply this distinct d i s t i n c t yeah and if i run then this will return only the distinct value duplicate value will be uh, eliminated so here you can see only distinct value have been written so there are five distinct fan so when you write distinct keyword then a few few things just i want to show you when you write distinct column a single column then here you can specify the bracket optionally right if you are applying distinct on single column then optionally you can write the bracket but if you have more than one column you cannot specify it bracket if i run then this will run as earlier right now now let's see how we can apply distinct query on multiple columns for that i'm going to make a, a demo on let's say department department table so here in the department table you can see uh, we have a five department right if you look in the primary key uh, then 10 20 30 40 and 50 right but uh, this department having id 10 if you look at the d name and location and this department having primary key as 50 if you look into the d name and uh, location both are same the rest of the are different so if i do perform the select on the, in this department if i do select uh let's say d name comma loc from department then this is going to return as department spelling job wrong department what happened if i run uh, i don't know why this guy is okay from clause is wrong so if i run this uh, query then this is gonna return us uh, five uh, rows but uh, here i want to remove this duplicate row so of course you can apply distinct keyword before this but here you cannot put bracket because you have more than one column if i run then this is going to eliminate the duplicate row and here you can see now it is returning only uh, basically unique uh, records so basically when you write distinct keyword before more than one column so basically that combines all the columns and try to find values are unique or not based on the that uh, basically that apply the filtering criteria that only pick up the uh, basically uh, distinct uh, rows now let's say in employee table uh, if uh, you look into the uh, emp table again emp table if you look in the mgr right so everywhere you see the value except one null value is there so let's apply a uh, distinct on employees uh, uh, sorry this column mgr column right there is one null value so i would say select okay distinct mgr from emp yeah then this guy is going to return all the distinct value 
select key was I have written wrong. Sorry, it is typo. If I run, then this guy is going to return us. Oh, oh, oh. from <laughs> this is going to return the all the distinct value uh, in MGR column, right? But here null, you can see if you want to null display on the last or uh, first place, then here you can apply simply order by clause, order by MGR. Uh, if you write DSC, then uh, null will be displayed on the first place. Yeah. If you want to put null on the last place, then simply you can uh, order by ASC or ascending order. So I think all the concept related to the distinct keyword I have covered in this video tutorial, guys. So I hope you enjoy learning this video, guys. Big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial.